What's going on, guys? Jordan here, coming back at you again with another episode of Beer Views. Tonight, we're going to be doing a revisit of the one and only hams. On the front, it says the following. The beer refreshing from the land of sky blue waters. Now, this is actually their 1960s can design right there. That's really, really cool. I really like that. I did also like their original can design that they had. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of those cans because I didn't collect cans back when I bought hams. I think the last time I actually had this beer was probably early 2019. Used to buy them a lot because they were cheap and you could get a decent amount of them for little to no money. About $4 for a six pack of pint cans. So now, obviously, prices are different than they were back in 2019, obviously, but not by much. Let me go to the Walmart website here. $5.27 for a six pack of 16 ounce pint cans. That's still really cheap, even in today's world. So still a really good price for what this is. And I always thought Ham's was a really good beer. I was actually surprised when I tried it the first time. I was kind of strapped for cash, you know, middle of the week. I wanted some beer, went to Walmart, saw Ham's, never had it before. I was like, you know what? I'll try it. Tried it and was very surprised on how good it was. So I started buying it pretty frequently. And a couple days ago, I had stumbled upon these again. And I noticed I wanted one of these cans for my collection. And I said, you know what? I actually kind of been wanting hams recently. So I picked up a six pack today and said, you know what? Let's make a video out of it. Let's revisit it. That's what we're going to do. I don't remember what I, what rating I gave it back in the day. But we're going to review it again. Hams. Revisit. Let's crack into it. This beer is coming in at 4.7% ABV. It's got its own smell to it. It's, it's very, it's bringing me back just smelling it. Ah, that smell. I'm going to try not to pour it too aggressively. I don't want a massive head on it. Pours a beautiful golden color. Working with about... About a four-finger head, honestly. Even though I kind of poured that kind of soft. White, soapy, slightly fluffy head. That smells like an amazing lager. About took the head up my nose. It's got a really nice smell to it. It's grainy. You get a little bit of the malt, but it smells good. Hams. Revisit. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but let's go ahead and get a taste. Cheers, guys. Yep. Just as good as I remembered it being. There's some sweetness there. It's really smooth. It's easy to drink. It's crisp, clean, refreshing. Everything you want in a lager, especially an American adjunct lager, you just want it to be smooth. You want it to be crisp. You want it to be refreshing. This ticks all the boxes.
it goes down like water. The carbonation is very subdued. Uh, it almost seems like it's a little bit less carbonated than some other even light beers. It's just incredibly drinkable. It's got everything that you could possibly be looking for in a beer of this magnitude. There's a bug trying to drink my beer. Get out of here. If you're into beers of this style, if you're into light beers, lagers, American adjunct lagers, anything like that, you're probably going to like hams. It's super affordable. It's got a great taste. Literally, there is nothing wrong with this beer, and it's actually crazy of how cheap it actually is. If you're somebody that likes a little bit more of a full-flavored body beer over something like a Bud Light, Coors Light, Miller Light, this would be a really good option for any of those people that are into the fuller style beers. Even though it's a full style beer, it's not all that heavy, the body on this. is honestly about a light to a medium. Computer screen went out. I would I would I would I would pretty much put this at the higher end of light body. Almost medium, but not quite. It's just super easy to drink. I mean, and and as as affordable as it actually is, you can't go wrong with it. So, like I said, I can't remember what score I gave it back in the day. I don't even remember when I put that video out. It was 2018 or 2019. But now I'm going to say that as far as a rating goes, I'm going to bump this up pretty high, I actually. There's almost like a little bit of like a, uh, after you drink on it for a while, there's almost like a bit of a resinous type feel you get on the tongue from like the hops, which there's really almost no bitterness to this beer like whatsoever. It might be just a slight tinge, but you get kind of like that, at least I am, like some type of resinous type after feel on the tongue quite pleasant. Nice little bit of lacing there on the glass as well. So as far as the rating, I'm going to give hams a solid 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. This is a really good lager. This is a really good beer in general. And if you like these types of beers, I would suggest you guys pick it up. And if you guys have had this, let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section. I'd be, I'm really curious to see what you guys think of this. I love it. I think it's a really good beer. I would definitely be drinking the six pack. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on anything you would like me to try in the future, leave it in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and That'll just about do it for the Hams Revisit. 9 out of 10. Really good beer. As always, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, cheers.